So come on in from the front. This is the intercooler water pump. So it runs into the radiator there and runs up, goes into the cooler on the intake manifold. This will run when it needs to run. Kind of see some part numbers there. It's easy, you just pull back that black tab and pull the wire back. And then you have your clip here, and then there's a top clip there. You can see it there, pull them two down. It will pull off this rubber, rubber mountain, and then that can pull out. So same with the back one here. This is the auxiliary water pump for the interior heater. So runs up, same gig. Clip here, clip there. You're gonna lose some coolant anyway. This one actually needs a, a new. It's a superseded part, and it needs a new bracket, which is like twelve euro plus that. So we didn't order the bracket. We have to wait for it to come in now. But same same problem here with the clip. You pull down that. Pull down this grey part before it will come off. It's like a lock. So yeah, you pull back this grey locking tool and then push push the tab down like this and you can see it just lifting there and then pull it off. So and when you're when you're doing make sure you push this back and that actually locks it in there to stop it from coming off. So and that's it. It's pretty easy. You're gonna have to top up your coolant, get the car to run in temperature. Here's the old one. It's gonna give you an idea. But the old one's round. It's the part number. It's the part number off the new box. You might you can run these through the diagnostics. So potentially have to get the car up to temperature and then run it with the diagnostics to bleed it. You could drive the car and it will keep an eye on the kill until it will run and it will drop down over time. It probably won't do with the first day, it might be when the cold start or something like that, you know. So this is a toured water pump. It's ran off the timing belt. You can see this is the old one here, it's fairly crusty in there. These engines must have a problem, but this part is stuck up and it's actually not letting the water go around. You can see it on this one. This is the fins for the water pump here. If this spins around, it moves it, but it has an electronic sensor that moves this up, like this one. This one's stuck up, so it's not doing anything. It was making the car overheat. So. When the car is cold, it will close this and let no water circulate around the block, make it heat up quicker. Does it in a couple of instants. There's the little sensor there. It's just looks like a standard water pump if you didn't have the sensor on. You can see the fins there. So see, this is new. This is old. When that fits, you have to take the timing belt off. So that fits down in this little hole here. It's quite rusty and stuff like that in there as well. 